Hi, Sagittarius. <clears throat> Let's do your general reading for October 16th to the 31st. And we have a lot of things going on with the cosmos. I don't really want to get into that right now. If you guys have questions, you can email me and ask me, but I really like <clears throat> feel the need to get like straight intuitive with you all. <clears throat> Sorry, allergies are killing me. That time of year, right? Sag. There's been a lot of expansion going on. A lot of expansion going on. Yeah. Yeah. We got the Five of Cups. And we have the Four of Wands. So there's a little sadness regarding your foundation, regarding your family, um, maybe your home life. It could just be in relationships or it could be like the foundation that you have set to live. Um, you know, this isn't the love reading, but um, it can it, there's certainly something emotional coming going on in your life. And I feel it. It's really heavy. Um, we have the Empress, which is renewal, rebirth. So there's a, there's a want for renewal. Um, Ten of Pentacles, which is, you know, total abundance. Um, the thing that I always, I, I don't always notice that with this card, but there's this old guy sitting there. And these people back here aren't even paying attention to him. He just has the dogs that are paying attention to him. So... I feel like maybe you guys are working a lot and kind of isolating yourselves and not really um, people are like turning their backs on you because you've isolated yourself and you're just like working really hard to get this money to get these pentacles. And with the nine of cups, there may be some uh, overindulgence happening with drinking or, um, you know, because I don't really feel like you guys are getting your you want your hopes and wishes. Um, but, you know, with the Five of Cups, I don't feel like you guys are getting that. Um, I feel like maybe there's a disconnect. And because of that disconnect, there might be some petty fighting with the Five of Wands. Um, maybe not big arguments, um, but certainly things that could turn into big arguments. Um, these are almost like sarcastic comments being thrown at each other. And it looks like this might be the end of a karmic cycle. The Empress also represents um, the Taurus card and this chariot card wanted to come out too. So, yeah. Oh, Sag. Are you guys sabotaging yourselves here? We have the Nine of Swords. I'm sorry. The Eight of Swords. I said Nine of Swords. The Eight of Swords. Maybe there's a reason why I said Nine of Swords. The Eight of Swords is like, you know, trapping yourself within your, your own mind. You are like deceitfully bl blinding yourself. And it's probably because of all this fighting that's going on, this isolation, um, this unhappiness um, within the home life. And um, you've kind of, you've isolated yourself with the Four of Swords. Um, this could be, you know, healing, uh, meditation time. Um, but I'm not really feeling that. I'm feeling like you guys are very guarded. Um, you've almost gone into a hermit mode. Um, but you're doing it in the kind of way you're not even like healing yourself. You're just doing it um, for no particular reason. You're just like, I don't want to fucking talk to anybody. Like, don't talk to me. Just leave me alone. Um, and this is, this is the cycle that you're going through is very karmic with the Wheel of Fortune. <clears throat> um, it's the end of something that you've been going through. Um, could be 10 years that you've been going through it. Could be longer. Um, but it's, it, it's time 
for the tower to come down. It's time because something is very unstable. Your foundation is very unstable. Um, something that was built maybe many years ago. Um, it could just be something that was built in the last year. And this doesn't have to be mass destruction. Um, this could be as small as something within yourself. It's a very uncomfortable feeling, but it has to happen. It has to happen for this empress to come out. It has to happen. Um, and then we have the chariot, which is the cancer card. You guys are moving forward. And it's like you're moving forward all on your own. You're not doing this with anybody else. Um, and if you are doing it with, it with other people, you're not talking about it. You're keeping to yourself. You're making plans on your own. Um, you're, and, and it could be that you do have a support system there, um, but it's like almost like you're the leader. You are the head honcho. You are the one that is taking on the show. And why is this happening, kids? Why are you isolating yourself? Why are you sabotaging yourself? Because somebody broke your heart? Or did you break your own heart? Did you do something? Did you send out information um, and broke somebody else's heart as well as yours? This is obviously something that needed to come to an end so that it can be reborn. And it doesn't have to be like the end of a relationship doesn't have to be the end of a job. It is the thought process that comes behind it. If it is a relationship that is really hard because of this foundation that you have built and you've been struggling and struggling and struggling, if you have to end the relationship, end it. If there's a broken heart, you can renew a relationship. It doesn't have to be completely over. It could be with friends, but it's almost as if you're in denial. You're blindfolded. You don't want to think about it. You don't want to talk about it. You want to sit here guarded with the swords over your heart. You don't want to talk about your feelings. You want to be left alone. And that's understandable when there's a broken heart involved. Um, but I'm the person, I'm a, my Venus is in Virgo. So when I am loving somebody, I tell them straight how it is. And it's never with a bad intention ever. It is never with a bad intention. Um, it's just because I want them to grow in the way that they should be growing or I feel they should be growing. I just give my advice and I give it in a very straightforward way. And a lot of people don't appreciate that. A lot of people do not like that. So when, <clears throat> if somebody comes at you like that, because I have hurt people by doing that before and I have totally recognized it and I have switched up my way. There was a card that flipped over in here and I wanna find it. Have some patience. So it's like having a guardian angel. It's also the Sagittarius card. Have some patience. Have um, patience with yourself. You know? Patience with your relationships. Um, don't be so guarded. Don't self-sabotage. If there's someone in your life that you care about and it's not going so well with a boss in the home, if it's not going so well, um, speak up. If you're dating someone, it's not going so well, but you really want to be with this person, you feel like they are a very big part of your life, you've got to speak up. Um, because keeping that inside, being in denial, being obsessed with the thoughts, the devil, being obsessed with the thoughts, being obsessed with the relationship, being with, obsessed with 
um, what is around you that's supposed to make you grounded. That's just going to bury you deeper into your mind. It's going to keep you in this Eight of Swords state. You will continue to be isolated. You will continue to self-destruct like the tower. So <clears throat> maybe that's what needs to crumble is that part of you inside that you have an instability with um, and let it come out. Um, and sometimes it's really hard for Sagittarius to admit when something isn't working. Sometimes it comes out in a very fiery, fiery way. So we need to really watch. I say we because I'm a Sagittarius moon. I know. I think I say that to you guys all the time. Right, 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 right. Okay. King of Wands. Here we are. Here we are. Ruling with an iron fist. This is the way it is. I'm a very big adult. I don't need to show my feelings. I'm going to keep it all inside until I explode. And then the tower comes down. So speak your truth. Judgment. Speak your truth. This is supposed to happen. We have major arcanas all over. The Wheel of Fortune, the Tower, Temperance, the Chariot, the Empress, the Devil, Judgment, 1010. And after Judgment, after you speak your truth, after you say what you need to say, after you get out of your head, You start to see things differently. You start to see things differently. As the hanged man. Like I said, guys, you are the hermit. You are locking yourself down. You're only using a little light so you don't have to see too far down the road. Because looking further down the road is scary. So see things in a different light, be the hanged man. That illumination around his head, he's very enlightened, very spiritual. He put himself in this position on purpose. <clears throat> and you may want to walk away. You may need to make a choice. You may need to hold the world in your hand and spin it and then stop it with the fingers. You ever do that when you were a kid? spin a globe and then stop it and then see where it stopped. We're very mutable. We move, we go, we don't sit. So spin the globe. If you need to walk away, then walk away. If you need to have a little bit of fun in your life, be a little more social. Get out of your head. Get out of the situation that you are in um, for a little bit, you know, and don't overindulge, you know, <laughs> don't sit in your cave like the hermit and drink yourself. Um, but, you know, find things to celebrate. You're building something. What are you building? Something is expanding in your life. Let's build upon that. Let's have these celebrations. Let's work in a way within ourselves that brings that enlightenment back, that brings that um, love for ourselves back. <clears throat> because once that, we stop working so hard and denying what we need to say, what needs to come out. You have the queen of pentacles. Is there an earth sign in your life? Stable. Um, this is the Virgo card, but it could be anybody, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. 
she's stable, she's loving, she's nurturing. Um, she is very practical in the way that she works and loves. Um, if there's somebody in your life that is very stable like this, and they are grounded and you can go to them and speak your truth, that could possibly bring a little enlightenment. But it's time to do that. You know, the King of Swords. You do have a social circle happening. You have people in your life that are surrounding you that you can lean on. This is an air card, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is somebody who has tunnel vision. It's very rational. This is somebody who um, says what he wants, says, you know, he goes for what he wants. And it doesn't take a lot of thought. It's like they already thought about it and then they did it. We're just gonna do it, we're just gonna go. <clears throat> celebrate that. Speak your truth and celebrate that. And stop deceiving yourself. The Seven of Swords, these are also thoughts. It could be information that came in that somebody deceived you. Or you deceive somebody else. But I don't feel that. I feel like you're deceiving yourself. And you're thinking that because of this heartbreak, um, because you feel left out, because um, things seem to be shattering around you. It's the end of that. It's the end of a cycle. This Wheel of Fortune card is telling you this, this time in your life, this era in your life was karmic. And it needs to come to an end. So you can be reborn like the Empress. Renew, you know, share your pentacles with others. And if there's a project you're working on with two people, share those pentacles. And the Six of Swords, this is also thinking about walking away. What are you walking away from? What do you want to load that boat up with and then just go away? Deceptive thoughts? Deceptive knowledge that you learned? Why not just face it head on? instead of running away, instead of crawling up in your shell like the hermit and running away. Just take time. <laughs> 